This is the battle of South, foo! Foo! Um, this is the, uh, finally we get a little bit of the battle. It's mostly a one-on-one, -on -one, but, uh, uh, as we know, uh, Team Doi goes in and tries to stop General Zelda, uh, in her sleep, but because she's just so friggin' awesome, uh, she knew it was coming, and... I love that she stayed true to the truce, because I'm waiting for her to break out. I love that that's the good guys that break it. I yeah, no, that totally was... the good guys broke the truce. Yeah, no, I, I thought that was great. Um, and uh, she's just like, okay, all bets are off. I tried. Now I'm going to take away your kingdom. Sorry, bitch. And uh, Korra goes in and says, you know, no reason. And she's like, you broke the truce. I'm going in. But I'm so nice. I'm such a cool general. Uh, I will give you another chance. I will fight the goddamn Avatar, because I am the coolest villain the show's ever had, and I'll make a deal, and you know I'll stick to it, because I stick to it before. Uh, if you win, I'll go away. I'll, I'll be happy just with my millions of armies and people and stuff. Well, we'll take over the rest of the world. I don't know, but uh, I'm that confident of We're going to jail. Awesome. Prison, it'll be quiet. We'll enjoy it. <laughs> but but uh, if I'm right. <laughs> but, but if I'm right, and you go down. Uh, I'm gonna inherit millions of registered voters. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, there will be no voting in my empire. Uh, so, yeah, it makes an offer there to Korra. There will be re-education. Yeah, <laughs> so re-education camps. Uh, so, makes the offer to Korra uh, that if she beats her, she'll go away, and if not, uh, she gets the town. Korra agrees. While they're having their battle, Varric blows himself up very, very slowly and very awesomely. Uh, so many good Bowen. lines in this episode. Yeah. You're insane. You knew that when you hired me. <laughs> I Anything with Varric. There's a lot of Varric in this, and it's in this really intense moment. The whole thing with the remote. Well, if you were going to blow yourself up anyway, why do you need a remote? In case you well, took me out of the train, which I would use anyway, but I'm still here, but then you're going to take me out. So, see, so I made the remote kind of first. Like, and that's 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 <laughs> I mean, just a wonderful blend of really good suspense and comedy. And, I mean, and just really, at the very really end, nice. just... I hate you. <laughs> so, uh, so they get out okay, but they think Varric's dead. Uh, Avatar Korra is about to defeat the general. She's in the Avatar state, about to smash her with a rock, but uh, suddenly she has her Empire Strikes Back moment again, and she's like, Whoa, but the poison's out! What the hell? Falls to the ground, Zelda rocks her up, and uh, the <laughs> other... <laughs> Zelda rocks the Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids... Pretty much save her, which happened. You know, it, it's kind of like... Some the, avatar. No, no, no. It's like, okay, with Aang, Aang got captured all the time. Like, that was his mm. thing. Like, Korra loses all the time. I'm so sick of her losing. But, you know, Korra, if you think you're just going to go in and fight Kuvira when you're all rusty, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> so, but they get her out, uh, and they're wondering what went wrong there. And uh, now Zelda has the whole... Uh, she pretty much has the Earth Kingdom, and Julie is now going to try and create the ultimate holy shit spirit bomb, and yeah, that's where we last left off. Um, great episode. I The only thing I was thinking maybe we would get, but I, I'm kind of okay we didn't, is like the big Lord of the Rings battle, because you have, you know, Mordor lined up there. And you keep thinking they're gonna march in and stuff, but I liked the one on one. Doug, I just... think you're forgetting something here. That would cost money. <laughs> <laughs> money that Nickelodeon's probably not willing to spend. But no, it's. I mean, but these seasons do look beautiful. As much as we like to. Oh know, no, say, it's, ah, it's Nickelodeon gorgeous. And that, it's like they're. The, only, the smallest yeah. things look unbelievable. Yeah, the only thing that sticks out is the CGI on their, their little mech warriors they've got yeah. running now. But apart from that, it's really gorgeous. So. Yeah, um. And there's a lot of Eric in it, which, like I said, I love. It's a good blend of comedy and, uh, and really intense moments, too. I was actually kind of like, what's going to happen? Is the bomb really on? Is it not really on? Um, and like I said, it's a mano y mano, and anything that just makes General Zelda look more awesome and Viric look more awesome, I'm totally for Varric. it. Varric. I'm sorry, Varric. Uh, but anything that makes... Don't look at me. I don't care, but the fans <laughs> <are pretty laughs> no, are not care about it. Um... So, yeah, I think the only thing, uh, the only question I have for you, before you say your opinion, is, uh, do you think, Julie, do you think this is all still just part of, like, a rouge? Like, she's still... Absolutely. I think so, too. 
Um, I know. Like, it, I, it's it, a touch blend, <laughs> like, which I like. But I, think I will say, if it isn't, still... that's the twist. Yeah, because it, it seems yeah. like they're still kind of building that up. But um, yeah, it, I'd be shocked if it wasn't. I'm ninety percent certain that. This is all a big ruse on her part, and she's still going to be a good guy at the end. But then the I real mean, question is: know. Is Varric in on it? Is he just putting up an act this whole time, even for Boleyn? No, but he was dreaming. Unless that was part yeah. of the act too. Boleyn was in the. Uh, no, in the I, cell. Don't, I don't. I fi- don't. My guess would be Varric's not in on it because that would be a nice little revenge for. I think Julie's. How do I put this? I think Julie. Uh, her feelings are real in that she's just freaking sick of Varric. But I think that this is also part of a ruse. So if she gets to do this ruse and also make Varric think that he's been betrayed, like, extra bonus for her, like, that's just the icing on the cake to annoy him as well, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. So, um, but, cool. Yeah, I'll weigh your thoughts on I don't know. I just thought it was a really solid episode. Uh, the, most of it was the lines and the writing. Uh, you know, you can't take all this Milo! And uh, the whole bit with the two uh, pictures, oh, Milo's yeah. versus it. <laughs> I love that he drew himself as like an emperor and like this great comic. Yeah, at the very end, Sue's son, hey, get your hands off me, you're crushing my individuality. <laughs> um, yeah, all of the Varric lines just really was probably the, one of the most funniest written episodes for these kind of lines that they threw in, and yet it was still so freaking intense. Yeah, and when you, so, think, when you think about it, nothing much is really going on. It's the two are, it's one scenario where the two are fighting, and then another scenario where they're debating whether or not this bomb is going to go off, and that's really about it, but both those situations, they did them so well, they kind of didn't I, I like that Kuvira is a master of diplomacy here, because she pretty, like, my guess is she predicted all of this was going to happen. Like, she's like, they'll break the truce, and then I look like the good guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it seems to me, I mean, she obviously predicted it was going to happen because it was Julie in the bed instead of her. Mm. So, like, all of this fell right into her plan. Like, I don't know if she thought she really could defeat the Avatar. It looked, you know, every, people dump on the Avatar or Korra too much. They're like, I, I read a great description in, that somebody sent to me, and they're just like, you know what, if she had won, it would be like, oh yeah, she doesn't have to go through any difficult trials and tribulations, she just picked this up again so easily. And if she had lost, as she did, it was like, oh, well, she just sucks. I mean, she can't do anything. Worst Avatar ever. So it's like, really, if you look at it, she got really close to it. It was tough, but she pulled herself up, and by the end of it, she was really close to winning. Now, see, to me, it's more that, like, if it just happened this season, like, I'd be fine. Actually, I really like that she kept the diplomacy, too. She's like, if I go yeah. in, it's only going to make things worse. Like, the old Korra wouldn't have done that, so I like that. But it's one of those things, too, where it's like, we just seen her lose so much. I mean, like, if it only happened once in a while, you know, I'd be okay. But it just happens so much. That's why when it happens again, it's sort of like, eh, well, okay. I don't know. <laughs> we, we say that, but she's... Really, the only time she's come out in the negative was this past season. Otherwise, she's come out ahead. No, I mean, it's worked out, but it's always like... How do I put it? I like it. With, with both avatars, there is always a somebody has to save them. Somebody always has to save Aang from, like, getting captured or break out of a cell or something like that. And someone always has to save Korra from, like, a fight or she's falling or something like that. So it's... Like, it's That's kind why of a it's called take. Team Avatar. <laughs> well, there you go. Speaking of which, man, we really haven't seen Mako in a while, have we? <laughs> I just love to think that in the middle of this battle, he's like, you know, giving the Earth Prince a pedicure or something. Like, just cut away to him, just like, Christ, I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's horrible to say. No, him and, uh, well, well, we did see what's her name in the last episode, but it's like, it, yeah, there's really, Sunny. yeah, there's not that much of them. And horrible to say, it's, I'm kind of okay with it. Like, they weren't necessarily bad characters, but it's like, I like the characters are focusing I miss a, on I miss so a, much I miss more. Asami more than I miss Mako. Yeah. Um, I, well, I don't know. With that, uh, Another day. interesting thing, I mean, did you notice that in this big Lord of the Rings sort of battle, and it, uh, you're going to fight me one-on-one and this and that? All chicks. Mm. I mean, if you look at the female-to-male quotient in the, the battle in this one, you know, you've got Beifong, you've got Kuvira, you've got Korra, you've got Tenzin's two daughters. Uh, like, I was just like, wow, there was a, a you know, represent. 
Yeah, no, it, it is mostly women. Um, um, but yeah, no, it's. I'm trying to think of anything else to. to I do. Th- I do think now that they've progressed Kuvira enough. Yeah, I think the people who were originally saying she's more communistic are actually correct. Like, at first I thought maybe they were going Nazi with her, but now I'm just like, oh, re-education camps, redistributing wealth. I'm like, this is like Leninist, Stalinist, Mao kind oh, of. Oh, but, yeah, I, I guess that they had camps. I know, I'm not getting yeah. as Nazi. Like, the, the speech she gave at the end of this episode in particular, I'm like, oh, that's where you're going with this. Okay, it seems more like communist dictatorship than, like, fascist dictatorship so mm. but um no i did i thought it was really solid uh i don't know how many episodes we have left uh but but i, I am g- probably near the halfway point and i usually i say maybe even further it's possibly thir- was, was it 13 episodes a season 12 something like that wow if we're only halfway that'd be great uh yeah because it, it's cause... like i feel like we're already getting close to the end of the fact there's so much more that just makes me really excited for it so um, I know, I feel bad because now we're at the last season, and I couldn't be more psyched for this damn show. And I'm yeah, like, and now it's, like, it's over. Oh. It got, yeah, I was like, and I think like... The, I think the creators mentioned somewhere that it's over. Mm. Oh, yeah, like, no, they yeah, said this is it. Yeah. So, there may so. be, there may be, like, manga or graphic novels or whatever, but it, yeah. Single two. Single two. Because <laughs> um, I was just thinking, like, oh, maybe they'll do this in the next season. Wait, no, this is it. So, uh, yeah. so but, what did... What did you think of her seeing her face? Oh, like, what is it going to be or what? It, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's... The only thing I can figure is, like, it's not the poison, it's psychological. Yeah, that's what um, I thought. I thought she's seeing herself in Kuvira. That, that's what because I thought, Because they too. seem similar. Yeah, they were they both, They both I have mean, that sort of drive to kick ass. Yeah, and they're both sort of pushy, you know, like, no, no, this is what I want, I know it's right, no, no, no argument, just, I'm right. Well, and, and Cora said, I swore she said somewhere in an earlier episode, she reminds me of me, mm. or something like that, or, you know, oh, that's what the old me w- would used to do, so the Kuvira's like the old her, so it's like, yeah. the new her fighting the old her, so I don't know if it was like that scene in Empire Strikes Back, where Luke chops off the fake Vader's mm. head and he sees his own face, and... It'd you be know, neat or, if the final battle was very psychological. Like for a split second, psychology. for a split second, like it took me a second to realize what we were looking at. I didn't realize. I thought she went to the Avatar state too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, for a split <laughs> I was second, like, Holy I, shit. Lo- I, I looked at it and I'm like, I didn't realize it was Korra's face. I'm like, oh fuck, there's another Avatar running around. Yeah, no, I <laughs> like, thought that for a second like, too. Aw. Like, um, and when I I started to realize it was just Korra's face, I'm like. Oh, that would have been so awesome. That would have been like so many questions would have been raised, but, um, but uh, yeah. But I still thought it was good. So yeah, no, this is a really. I can't, there's not a lot of complaints. It's really good. <laughs> it's just a good season. It's it's a good. You know what? And maybe in a sense, it's a good thing. It's the final season because it's a good. Well, it seems like it's ending on a good final note. They're definitely if they keep this up all the way to the very end, like. That's the thing. Is some of the other seasons, like, I thought season one in particular was pretty good up until the last five minutes. So if they keep this all the way to the last second and not just the last five minutes, then, yeah, they're going to go out on top. Yeah. No, it'll definitely be a strong season. So, um, yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, we'll see you next vlog. Take care.